amount of detail that went into choosing every element in the frame, textures, contrasts, and the costumes, it is impeccable. Mark Bridges, the costume designer, did a really amazing job. He's extremely, extremely good. The first thing I thought of when I read the script was that I was destined to do this uh, because I have been a huge, huge movie fan since I was very, very young. Would do book reports in school about silent movies. Really a crazy movie fanatic. Working with Jean was very interesting. He's perfect for the role. I found shapes that I felt were very strong. The peak lapels I love, the flat front pants. There's something wonderful about Jean where he can put something on and just look immaculate. So it helps me. We made him his tail coat, and it's not something you see a lot. It's an unusual garment. People don't know how to wear them, really. So it's really fun, and it makes him stand out, I think. The movement of Pepe's character through the film, we kept the shapes very simple and sweet in the beginning, and things became more elaborate and complicated and luxurious. Very high contrast, white dress with the black fur and a great silhouette. So we're constantly communicating where they are in their lives. When an actor is at his height of his fame, say we meet George in the beginning, he's very high contrast with textures. And then things at the end, when he goes back into his burnt suit, things like that that just propel the story on. What he did with the extras was absolutely huge. And every single extra was shootable for me, which is really unusual. When you have, for example, 50 extras, you can really shoot like 20 of them. Here, every extra was uh, shootable. Filming in black and white for me has uh, definitely been a challenge in many ways because it's not a medium that I am used to. Um, I've come to take a photograph of a color chart in black and white and see what value it becomes and then I will make my color choice. That's how I chose the colors for Peppy's first two costumes and they're actually in color, they're very unusual colors. Uh, a cantaloupe, this, this reads very gray on film in the beginning and then this, this soft green color as well feels very gray on film. It becomes about contrasts and, and things like that, and textures very much. We use a lot of metallics, a lot of sequins. You know, anything that has a shine helps pick up in black and white as well. And the most important thing, the taste. He has a great taste. I mean, the dresses, the suits, the details, the hats, everything was amazing. He did an amazing job, really. Michelle knew the value of shooting in Hollywood. And the benefit of it is there is a sense of reality that I don't think would be able to be accomplished somewhere else. Larry Bennett was the production designer. The challenge for Larry was to recreate the 20s here in Los Angeles with a lot of location. And he did a great job to make Hollywood now looking like Hollywood in the 20s. Los Angeles has never been kind to its architecture. So while we're able to make use of the Orpheum Theater and Los Angeles Theater, some really beautiful gems and some beautiful houses around town and bits and pieces of neighborhoods, it's only because of the back lots at Warner Brothers and Paramount that we're able to do a lot of the street work. It, it was like going to uh, Max Senate Studio, the first studio in Hollywood. I went there and I found a lot of stuff in their basement. I was like rummaging through it and I came back and I. I showed Larry and he goes, God, you know, all these old backings and ladders and prop boxes and uh, grip stands, old grip stands and kookalorises and it was, it, it was just, it was just magical to be able to do stuff like that and go, go to these old places and pull out stuff that hadn't been used in years. It was so beautifully designed. There's a, an incredible building with a staircase, which is so memorable, but it's just downtown LA. 
The Bradbury Building has been used in so many movies, and I don't know that it's ever been used as well as it is in this one. It belongs to the period. It, it takes you back. And you know what? That shot can't take place anywhere else. You couldn't build that as a set. Billy Wilder said once, if you shoot a, a very complex scene, you better have a very simple uh, background. If you shoot a very simple situation, you better have a very complex background. And uh, so we try to, to, to respect that. The amount of detail that went into choosing every element in the frame, textures, contrasts, the sets and the costumes, it is impeccable. Guillaume Schiffman is the director of photography. It's my third movie with him, so we are very close collaborator. Maybe for this. The way I work with him, I get a selection of maybe eight or ten movies, and I say to him, okay, this is the kind of texture and the kind of image light I'd like to have, and we try to find a way to capture that feeling. At the beginning, George Valentine is a big star, and I wanted a very strong light. And uh, when he discovered sound, he laughs at it. And it's a bad decision, we all know that. And uh, so at the ending, he moves and he goes in the darkness, because that's what he does. It's beautifully lit. The DP deserves every award that they want to shower it with. And when you consider that really there are very few films ever made in black and white today, he did an incredible job. Yeah.